This next music legend was best known as one of the brothers in the iconic group, the Bee Gees. Along with brothers Maurice and Barry, Robin Gibbs started one of Britain's most popular rock groups of all time, the Bee Gees. They had their first U.S. number one hit in 1971, but it was their hit Night Fever that launched the brothers Gibb as disco legends. Robin went on to a successful solo career. But in 2010, severe abdominal pains began interrupting his demanding performance schedule. He was diagnosed with colorectal cancer, which had metastasized to his liver. Remarkably, it was reported that Robin said he never felt seriously ill. But following an abdominal surgery in 2012, he contracted pneumonia and died of liver and kidney failure at age 62. And joining us now to help shed some light on colorectal cancer is our good friend, Dr. Jorge Rodriguez. Great As always, oh, a yeah. pleasure. Yeah. Love you. And, and let's start off by talking about how common colorectal cancer is. Actually, it's very common. It's probably the number three cancer in men and women. And uh, approximately 150 or so thousand people every year are diagnosed with it. And around 50 or 60,000 die from colon cancer in the U.S. every year. So it's very common. What do you think of as the, the primary concerns when it comes to causes? Well, the primary thing that people need to be aware of with colon cancer is their family history. I mean, there is a genetic component. So you need to know about your parents, about your aunts and uncles. Secondly, the same things that we keep on mentioning tend to contribute to colon cancer. Obesity, diabetes, um, some sort of, if you've had polyps in the past, obviously you're more predisposed to it. But just like when it comes to pap smears with cervical cancer, mm -hmm. colonoscopies can catch colon cancer before it either a, a becomes a cancer or before it can become deadly. And joining us now in the audience is Mindy. She's on the fence about getting a colonoscopy. And I'm going to tell you, first of all, you're not alone. A lot of people are afraid of this procedure, but, mm -hmm. but what are your concerns? Well, a friend of mine had a colonoscopy, and she told me that she felt irritation and discomfort for about a month afterwards. And ever since I heard that, I've been apprehensive about having one. Mindy, the, the most important thing in treating colon cancer is to get it early. That's the only chance you really have of curing colon cancer. And a colonoscopy, actually I had one done, I didn't do it myself, but I had one done. <laughs> and but you probably could. I, and uh, the worst part for me was the prep the day before, because mm -hmm. you That's really have to be right. fasting and you have to take these laxatives to clean everything Drink out. The liquid. Right, not because it's gross, but just because if there's something in there, you might miss a small cancer. And then the actual colonoscopy, you're asleep. I mean, usually now it's done with an anesthesiologist, and you don't even feel the spasm. So you know, I, my first one was several, probably a good ten years ago, and they didn't put me out. But my recent one, I was out, just dreaming, and much more pleasant recently than it was before. Now, a colonoscopy is recommended when you turn 50, or like in your case, let's say that you had a first-degree relative, like a parent who had it at 45. Then it's recommended that you get it 10 years before they develop colon cancer. The most common symptom of colon cancer is actually no symptom whatsoever, mm -hmm. which is what's scary. The intestines are built so that the nerves are on the outside, and it isn't until the cancer eats through to the outside that you actually start having pain. But you could have blood that you see, you can have blood that you don't see, so that's why you need to have a rectal examination or the stool check every year. You could have, like Robin Gibb, sometimes an obstruction because the cancer has gotten so big that it, that it blocks the stool from going through. And then, of course, you can have rectal pain also. Probably the most famous case of having averted colon cancer was Ronald Reagan, right? He had some polyps that were removed, right? And then they were even more um, sort of aggressive and removed part of the colon, but it saved his life. I mean, poor Robin Gibb, that cancer was all over, you know, and in the liver. So how about this? We'll, we'll at least have you uh, follow up the conversation <laughs> and you can do some more research because it's one of those things where it's an emphatic yes when it comes to needing a colonoscopy once you hit the age of 50 if you want to prevent this, this curable cancer from potentially mm -hmm. taking your life.